Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. Survey research means collecting information about a group of people by asking them questions and analyzing the results. To conduct an effective survey, follow these six steps. Determine who will participate in the survey. Decide the type of survey, mail, online, or in person. Design the survey questions and layout. Distribute the survey. Analyze the responses. Write up the results. Surveys are used as a method of gathering data in many different fields. They are a good choice when you want to find out about the characteristics, preferences, opinions, or beliefs of a group of people. Common uses of survey research include social research, investigating the experiences and characteristics of different social groups, market research, finding out what customers think about products, services, and companies, health research, collecting data from patients about symptoms and treatments, politics, measuring public opinion about parties and policies, psychology, researching personality traits, preferences and behaviors. Here is some steps to do survey research. Step 1. Define the population and sample. Before you start conducting survey research, you should already have a clear research question that defines what you want to find out. Based on this question, you need to determine exactly who you will target to participate in the survey. Populations. The target population is the specific group of people that you want to find out about. This group can be very broad or relatively narrow. For example, the population of Brazil U.S. college students second-generation immigrants in the Netherlands customers of a specific company aged 18 to 24 British transgender women over the age of 50 years. Samples. It's samples. It's rarely possible to survey the entire population of your research. It would be very difficult to get a response from every person in Brazil or every college student in the U.S. Instead, you will usually survey a sample from the population. The sample size depends on how big the population is. You can use an online sample calculator to work out how many responses you need. Step 2. Decide on the type of survey. There are two main types of survey. A questionnaire where a list of questions is distributed by mail, online or in person, and respondents fill it out themselves. An interview, where the researcher asks a set of questions by phone or in person and records the responses. Which Step 3. Design the survey questions. Next, you need to decide which questions you will ask and how you will ask them. It's important to consider the type of questions, the content of the questions, the phrasing of the questions, the ordering and layout of the survey. Step 4. Distribute the survey and collect responses. Before you start, create a clear plan for where, when, how, and with whom you will conduct the survey. Determine in advance how many responses you require and how you will gain access to the sample. Step 5. Analyze the survey results. There are many methods of analyzing the results of your survey. First you have to process the data, usually with the help of a computer program to sort all the responses. You should also clean the data by removing incomplete or incorrectly completed responses. You can also use more qualitative methods, such as thematic analysis, which is especially suitable for analyzing interviews. Statistical analysis is usually conducted using programs like SPSS or Stata. The same set of survey data can be subject to many analyses. Step 6. Write up the survey results. Finally, when you have collected and analyzed all the necessary data, you will write it up as part of your thesis, dissertation, or research paper. In the methodology section, you describe exactly how you conducted the survey. You should explain the types of questions you used, the sampling method, when and where the survey took place, and the response rate. You can include the full questionnaire as an appendix and refer to it in the text if relevant. Then introduce the analysis by describing how you prepared the data and the statistical methods you used to analyze it.
In the results section, you summarize the key results from your analysis. In the discussion and conclusion, you give your explanations and interpretations of these results, answer your research question, and reflect on the implications and limitations of the research. Thank you for watching. I hope you can easily understand that how to do survey research. Like share and subscribe my channel for more informative videos about research.